Amen. Bless him, Lord. Bless you, Jerry. Oh, Brother Adam Nisley. Yeah. Brother Vernon, Brother Robin, probably most all you. Uh, you, Brother Adam, a lot yeah. of us. You always see it uh, when you run out of corn, shut the meal. That's right. As long as you've got corn in the middle, That's right. you keep ground on ground. He yeah, said, if you run out of corn, shut the meal down. That's right. Amen. You know, uh, what happens if you don't shut the meal down? Burn the gears. Burn the gears. Burn the gears. <laughs> and so sometimes it's hard for us as people yeah. to really, yeah. I don't know about these other preachers, sometimes, and I've always said this, my daddy told me something, and when I started preaching, he said, now there's two things that you need to remember that's very important. I said, what's that? Right. He said, when to get up, yep. when to shut up. That's right, Jerry. Amen. Amen. And there were a few times he jerked me around a little bit, and he said, you ain't been paying attention to what I've been telling you. <laughs> I'm glad you <coughs> 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 Amen. Amen. For young men like uh, Brother Robbie here that's stepping out. And yeah. Bless you, Jerry. And telling <coughs> a good story. Now, somebody said, how long is it going to be told? And he asked a question one time, when I return, will I find faith on the earth? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I believe he will. Yeah, he will. There'll be somebody yeah. that uh, will be here right. telling the story. Amen. Preaching. Yeah. They were sure before I got here. Right. If I go pretty soon, yeah. there'll be somebody, if the Lord don't come real soon, there'll be somebody preaching. There may That's not right. be a lot of people listening. He talked about a famine coming. Yeah, along. for the hearing, not for the preacher. Not for uh, uh, bread or water, no. but for the hearing. Hear. That's right. Now, I know there ain't many preaching it, but there ain't many people listening. That's right. He told those churches there in Revelation, he said, He that hath a ear, let him hear what the Spirit That's said right, Jerry. unto the churches. I thought Brother Bobby is preaching. Robbie preaching here. And I heard a man preach several years ago, and his text was, "You got to go by the cross." That's right. Yeah. I ain't never been over yonder in the place called Jerusalem, and the Israel all over in there were that Jesus lived. But I've been to Calvary. Amen. That's right. I've been by the cross. Amen. A long time ago, fifty plus odd years ago, I was a Teenage boy, God called me to preach, and I was uh, between 14 and 15 years old. Yeah. These past 50 years. Ain't all been smooth sailing. Ain't all been just right. exactly the way I thought it'd be. Yeah. Well, sure, I don't know of a person. I'd like to think that I could wake up tomorrow and have one day here without one worry. Yeah. Without yeah. one bother. Yeah. But that yeah. problem won't happen. No. Uh, and Adam brought something on us. Yeah. Somebody said, why does good people? And I'm, I'm going to tell you, through the years, it's been hard for me to try to cipher it out and figure it out. How that, and why that good people have to suffer so much. Yeah. yeah. Man lived uh, in our community. My daddy always said that he believed he could pick up an old river rock and turn it into gold or money. <laughs> just that way, everything he touched. Yeah. Never went to church. Listen, never did I ever know of other than maybe a, a funeral. If you had a Palmer, he'd go stand on the outside. And never, never went to church. And my daddy got sick, and I asked my dad, I said, I don't understand this. And man lived on the farm up the road from us. I said, I don't understand why you have to be so sick. I said, what about him? My daddy looked at me just as calm, and he said, you know what? He said, always remember this. He said, if a man ain't going to get right, he ain't going to give his heart to the Lord. Right. On, he ain't going to do the right thing. He said, right here is a sinner man's heaven. Yeah. This is all they're going to have. He said, my best part's waiting on me. We all That's right. To get away from all of this. Get out from under it. Somebody said, well, going to be a whole lot, uh, you know, I don't know how many is going to be in heaven, but he said there was a number that no man could know. That's right. 
And it's going to be a good place. Yes, Thank sir. You. Amen. I'm glad he wrote my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. And John was out there and he looked and saw that book that had seven seals yeah. on the back. Yeah. And he said, I looked and he said, the heavens were searched, the earth was searched, right. beneath the earth was searched, and no man was found worthy yeah. to loose the seal right. and to open up the book. Right. But you know what happened after that? He said, but then the line of the Praise the Lord. Jesus That's right. Prevailed. Amen. Somebody said those seals ain't never been loose. Yes, I have. Well, if that's the case, then the book ain't never been opened. Right. And me and you are wasting our that's time right. tonight because our name couldn't have got wrote in that that's book. That's right. Except those seals had been loose and that yeah. book been opened. Amen, Jerry. Right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. That's right. I don't see it that way. That's fine. I'll ask people too. But he talked about a day that we're going to come before him. Right. Oh, brother, I know he's preaching one night about the judgment man confronted him or after church. He said, he's going to be like you say. He said, we ain't going to stand before God. And he said, when we die, we'll just go wherever we're going. And old preacher looked at that young man. And he said, let me tell you something. He said, whether you believe it or whether you don't. And I thought he put it pretty plain and straight. He said, but in that day, You'll look at him eyeball to eye. That's right. He said you'll give an account of the deeds that you've done in your body, yeah. whether it's good. That's what it or says. Amen. It's right. Amen. That's Bible. Amen. And that's the way it is. That's right. John said, "I saw the books." Yeah, right there. That's right. He said, "Sixty-six of them." Yeah, praise the Lord. The book Amen. The book that had been opened. And he yeah. said, those names that were not found written in Yeah. Them, let me just throw this in right here. Yes, there ain't going to be a time that we'll stand before God and say, please search the book again. That's right, Jerry. Right. Right. Amen. Right. 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 He'll make no mistake. Right. Right. That's right. And you can't get that name put in that book after you leave this one. No, you That's can't. Right. That's right. This ain't a trial run. This ain't if you don't make it That's now. Right. Get in out of thunder somewhere. Hey, I, I ain't trying to cross the body. Come on, I Jerry Craig. I told my boys that if they didn't get saved now, to be sure they got saved during the millennium. Come on, Jerry. Preach. But then they turn around and say the church is going to be stolen out of here. Bless That's the man Lord. one time when he confronted me, I said, I got a question to ask him. I said, Could you have been born without your mother? Bless him, Lord. Yeah, bless you, Jerry. He said, well, that means nothing. Simply. <laughs> simply asked. I said, if the church is gone, I'm standing right Bill over. The church is the mother. Yeah. 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 And if the church is gone, there ain't nobody going to get saved here. No. They talk about the morning after Jesus come. All this come is on, Jerry. going on, total chaos. People trying to find their children. Yeah. Airplanes had crashed and other pilots missing. Cars yeah. off the road crashed. And <coughs> trying to find the drivers and not be able to find them. But you let me tell you right now, I read about a day that the Lord was coming back. Yeah. I heard him great That's him. right. He's going to send from heaven yeah. to the south with the voice of an archangel. The trump of God. The trump of God. Yeah, it's good preaching. Yeah. You tell me how a trumpet can sound so loud. It'll wake the dead. Yeah. Yeah. And people here not know anything about yeah. it. I say nay, nay, nay. I'm going to tell you that times are coming. And when he comes, and the Bible said the dead. And in Christ shall they serve, and we which are alive and remain shall be changed and caught up to, Amen. to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So I said, What do you call that? Them old time preachers, they preached the Lord was coming, and the world was coming to an end. Yeah. Amen. And now they got it so complicated, sinner people. Rock to sleep, thinking they'll have another chance. But again, let me stress this this is not a trial run. That's right, Jerry. Amen. Amen. Gotta get in now. Today's day of salvation. That's right. Now's the accepted time. Amen. 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 Amen.
the, the top of the church belongs to God. That's right. Amen. I, I thought about what Brother Vernon preached here one night. I don't know when I've ever enjoyed hearing a man preach as much as I had Brother Vernon. He's preaching the other night about, you know, you put your, put your Bible under your arm and walk down the room. Never say that to people. They look at you and say, that must be a preacher. Yeah. But he went on to say, he would have maybe not word for word how he said it, but anyway, just putting him on word, a sinner man can do the same thing. Put the Bible under his arm, start down the road. Yeah. Yeah. People look, he must be a preacher. Yeah. Yeah. Just picking up a Bible, put it under your arm. Don't make you a preacher, does it? That's right. No, it's short on. This word here is forever settled in heaven. Sister confronted me several years ago. Something my preach really bothered her. Made her mad, to be honest with you. Her and her husband both they confronted me outside the church. And what she was talking about, I won't go into all that, but anyway, I said, okay. I said, let me have your Bible. I said, a King James Bible. She said, well, of course, wouldn't have nothing else. I said, let me have it. I turned it over and read what she was uh, uh, challenging me on, and I said, there you have it. It ain't Jerry Scalf that said it. It's the Bible. <laughs> Amen. She looked me straight in the eyeball, and she said, I don't care what the Bible said. My you goodness. know what I told her? I said, you're just vocal. Right. Where a lot of people think the same way. That's right. And holding it inside. Amen. Until we come to the place and the time that we can obey. It ain't to hear that's justified. That's right, Jerry. Amen. But it's the doer. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear it all your life. Yeah. But if you don't do something about it, you're going to be lost forever, world without end. Yeah. And if I know anything, I don't know much, I ain't too smart. I believe we're winding down. We're living in the last days. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm inside tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I'm inside. I'm sorry I didn't make it last night. God knows all about these things. Sometimes, a few years back, I first got sick, it's still hard for me to deal with things sometimes, not being able to do everything that I want to. But praise God, my battle's soon going to be over. I'll lay this old body down, and I'll get one like his. It's going to be a good place. Probably preaching there, I could just look over there in my mind, try to imagine it. Yeah, bless you, Jerry. Yeah. He wiped away all the tears yeah. from our eyes. Every tear we'll ever shed, every trouble we'll ever face, is going to be done away. Everything's going to be brand new. Boy, somebody said, Are we really going to know one another? Read about Elijah. You know, God took him and he was called away in the the, the chariots are far. They searched for him and that after he's caught up in that whirlwind yeah. and carried away. They looked for days yeah. and days. That's right. Couldn't find him. Yeah. Moses was out there. He was a man that went on the mountain and met God. Yes, sir. Before that, old Moses, he wanted to see. God said, You can't look at my face and live. But he said, If you're over and hide yourself in the cliff of that rock, when I go by, I'll show you my hind parts. Right. And when he passed by, Moses seen his back. But Moses was caught up there on that mountain. And when he came back down off the mountain, of course you know the story, I won't get in all that, but he ended up coming down after he'd gone a while. All them people told over and said he's gone, something's happened to him up there and he's laying up there dead. <coughs> they took all the gold or silver or earrings, everything they had, right. put it in a pot, out of it come a golden yep. cat. Yep, that's right. They took their clothes off, started singing, yep. and they started naked. dancing. They was. 
Moses come down off the mountain carrying them tablets of stone with the law on them. He said, I hear something. Yeah. It's a strange sound coming out of that cave. Joshua said, there's war. When he got down there, he tasted uh, those tablets of stone that had the law wrote on it, broke them into pieces, yeah. went down there and ground that calf up in, uh, to powder, right. took it down to the creek, pulled it in there, and made every one of them get down there and drink. That's right. Went back up there again. Yeah. Old Moses, when he came off that time, they couldn't look at him. Right. He had to put a veil over his foot. Yeah. And while he was up there, they couldn't even touch that mountain. If they did, they'd yeah, die. That's right. We thrust through. Come a day that uh, Moses had come down to die. 120 years old. His countenance wouldn't have been. His eyes wouldn't have waxed dim. And God called him. And Satan wanted his body. But God <laughs> took his body. Took him down into the land of Moab. Yep. And bury right. And no man to this day right. knows where the sepulchre or the tomb of Moses right. is. Only God. That's right. Yeah. But after Jesus came, yeah. now God knows it all. Yeah. Jesus walked up on top of the mountain, told Peter and the disciples, You abide here. And when he went up on the mountain, God had already went down into the land of Moab. That's right. Where he had buried God, where God had buried Moses. Bless him, Lord. Took him up, took him back to the mountain, got a hold of Elijah, took him back there on that mountain, and a cloud come down and covered the mountain. Peter looked, he'd never met Elijah, he'd never met Moses, but he saw Jesus. Right. And he saw Moses and alive. And he said, yeah. It's good for us to be here. That's right. Yeah. Let us build three tabernacles. Yeah. One for Moses and one for alive. And he said, Jesus and one for thee. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Jerry. You know what that was? I always wondered what that represented. God showed me one night, and I don't think I'm wrong, but right there it was. Moses, Elias, or Elijah, and Jesus Christ. Yep. Right there was the law, prophets, the prophets, grace, and grace and truth. That's right. Met there on the mountain, and Jesus was transfigured before. Yep. Right there. Oh, he's the same now as he was back then. Yeah. Yeah. There's one thing that'll help us. Yeah. Only one thing that'll save us. Yeah. Is the truth. That's right. Grace, that's a murdered favor. Can't do enough good to get it. Can't get enough money to buy it. That's right. I'm over here just me. I didn't really feel like getting up. But anyway, I'm just glad that the Lord had me come back tonight. We've already heard we've already heard a good message. Heard some good singing. And God helped me to know when to do, when not to do. That's right. And uh, I just love the Lord tonight. I was thinking uh, also, I just got to thinking a while back, and uh, I, I read a little bit about it. Don't know much about it. Robbie might probably could tell more about this, I'm sure. I got to thinking about sin and, you know, Satan or the serpent that's in this world, going to and fro, walking up and down in the earth. Bless him, Lord. Seeking whom he can devour. Yeah. Somebody said, and I told somebody here the other night, I said, I honestly thought over 50 years ago when I started preaching that if I did live to get some years on me, my last few years would be where I didn't have to worry about nothing. Yeah. I'd slide right on in. Well, that ain't the way it is, folks. No. I'm glad His grace is sufficient. Yeah. There was a time they was out there and the serpents were sent among. Yeah. And begin to bite them and they die. Yeah. God told that uh, prophet what to do. To take you and put you a brazen serpent up on this pole. Yeah. And if they get bit by this serpent, all they got to do if they want to live, look at it. Look at it. And some of them wouldn't even look at that. That's right. 
what I was going to say in my closing here. Now, most of us being old country people, and uh, we know a little bit about some of the uh, the serpent snakes. And back where I live, back in the mountain, it's pretty notorious for rattlesnakes. Yeah. And copperheads, all them yeah. kinds got their venom right. is very strong. Yeah. yeah. And they say if a rattlesnake bites you, there's some more. Unless you can get a, a tourniquet around the area to keep the blood from flowing, it won't take very long right. that venom to get to your heart. You know what it does? It stops it. That's right, amen. Yeah. What does sin do? Yeah. What, that, what happens to men and women when they're bit by that serpent? That's right. Come on. Time is the greatest thing that's most important. Right. And that's what the devil uses on people. You don't have to get right now. You don't have to get rid of all this now. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Just wait a while. Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. bit by a rattlesnake. Come the on. main important thing, first off, Come on. is time. Amen. Getting somewhere that they can give you something. That's right. Amen. They've done a lot of uh, a study. And they said, and there's anecdotes. If you can get them there in time, that'll counteract that venom. Am I right? Yeah, brother? that's right. Yeah. But they done some study and said there wasn't much said about it. They said almost every hospital kept some in storage. There is one thing that absolutely, 100%, would work to kill the venom on the rattlesnake. If you can get them there in time, uh, yeah. you know what it is? The blood of a ewe lamb. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and they keep so much of that in vials. And if they can get you there in time, they can inject some of that blood from the lamb. It'll counteract and kill that venom. From that rattlesnake. Ain't that something? <laughs> Praise God. That's what he done to me one day. That's right. I've been being by the serpent. Amen. But he took the blood on him. Yeah. That's right. When I see the blood. Praise the Lord. That venom that's in that body, when that yeah. blood of that little you lamb goes into that vein, hey, that venom can't tackle that blood uh, of the lamb. Right. Amen. 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 That's right. <laughs> the blood. Amen. Of the I was raised up in singing an old song, there's power, power, yeah. wonder working power. Yeah. Our people, some of you children, maybe husband, wife, mother, daddy, somebody in your family, they've been bit by that serpent. Yeah. That venom is in them, destroying them at a fast rate of time. That's right, man. And the only thing that's going to save them is to get them to where they can have that blood of the lamb put in them. To kill and to counteract that. That's people. right. That's yeah. it. But if they just lay there, nobody does nothing to help them, it won't be very long they die. Right. Amen. Somebody said, Well, you ever help anybody? Well, I, I'd like to think maybe I'd warn one or two along the way, Come maybe on, just my family. Probably not much. Come on, Jerry. Oh. I want the whole world to know what happened to me that day. That's right. Yeah. I ain't had no money. Didn't have a dime in my pocket. <laughs> had a pair of brogan shoes on with the tax drove through the sole to keep them from flopping when I walked. But when I went down, I went down a, a beggar. Right, you ain't done. He reached up there in that big wardrobe. Yeah. Got a, uh, got a, a robe <clears throat> that was Fire spotless yeah. and white as snow. As snow. Yeah. Put it on me. <clears throat> Shot me with the preparations of the gospel. That's right. Oh, I gotta say, I walked out of there. I had to make sure I didn't walk too high. 
Called them the soul still flopped on the shoes. Sure. I had a brand new pair of shoes. Yeah, on. amen. Had a brand new garment on. Yeah. I didn't change my raisin. No. Most of my clothes growing up. Yes, the Lord. Was a gift to me. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Daddy done the best he could. Worked himself in the grave early, early life. Right. Lord. I don't take that lightly how he suffered to make sure I had something to eat on the table. I don't want to take it lightly either. We go back to the first night here, Brother Vernon preached about that table. It's been set every night. It's still set tonight. That's right. Matter of fact, if you've been bit by that serpent, lay some of the blood of the lamb right here on the Yeah, table. that's right. There's Andover. Amen. Amen. That's good. Strength. Right. Courage. Right. Yeah. In my younger days, I tell Robbie, I love him. So Robbie, I said, I can remember back in my younger days, I don't know if both of them just tell me the way it was. Didn't think much about it. Remember one time I went 96 straight nights, one revival to another. Yeah. Another time, 72 straight nights, one revival to the other. I've done 16 to 20 revivals a year yeah. and working full time. Didn't even get tired. Yeah. I thought that's the way it'd always be, Bill Austin. Um, okay. There come a day that it got hard for me to walk. That's yeah. right. And it got to a place that my body wouldn't do what my mind told me to. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. yeah. You just don't have the ability. That's right. Yeah. Thank God. We're going to be young forever. Yeah. That's young right. forever. I like what Robbie said. One long eternal day. Yeah. Ain't going to be no night over there. No. He's coming back. Yeah. I told somebody one time, they asked me why I was always talking about the, that the Lord's coming in the morning. They said, how do you know what hour of the day it's going to be? And I said, well, I said, let me just put it to you this way. I don't know what hour of the day it's going to be. That's right. But I said, it's going to be morning. Lady and man looked at me and said, What do you mean? I said, Because it's going to be the dawning of a new day. That's right. <laughs> That'll never end. The shades of the evening will never fall. Amen. My daddy died. My mama said, I do pretty good until the shades of the evening starts yeah. falling. Yeah. She said, I can hardly bear it. Yeah. Thank God in that country. What a, what a place. Yeah. That's my home. Right. Amen. My daddy. Uh, worked, worked at the old Penn Dixie cement plant, and he farmed, worked on the farm in our community. I can remember uh, how things were. My daddy paid $10 a month rent. All of us young. Yeah. Then he got saved, started preaching. We'd sit down, the cow dry up. We'd sit down, mom would make uh, water gravy and a pone yeah. bread. That's right, she do it. We didn't reach over to get a piece of bread. We didn't stick our plate up and start dipping until Daddy prayed. Right. He'd get to pray and be offered. You would think that you're sitting down to the finest meal that any king ever sat down to. Yeah. And we was. Yeah. Because yeah. it had been blessed by God. Amen. Don't we need to get back this old time? Well, I don't know. Let me yeah. just throw this in here. And I am done. I absolutely refuse. Absolutely refuse to be pulled into this modern day religion. Yeah. If I know my own heart, I want to stay with what I started with. The old path. They ain't nothing unclean ever. That's right. Amen. The eyes of the vultures never looked at it. Amen. It's a highway. Yeah. It's called a highway and a highway of holiness. And that's not denominational no. holiness. No. That's holiness in Jesus Christ. That's right. Yeah. You look at us, and like I said, death is in us. It's in us. I, I mentioned it here one night. That's one of my doctors one time. I always read word that uh, Job said, though the skin worm devoured this flesh, right. yet in my body, with my eyes, I'll see the Lord, and I'll see him for myself and not. Amen. That's right. That's my doctor. I said, 
tell me something about skinworms. He said, well, you don't know. I said, when do they, what's the time that they actually appear in the body? He looked at me and grinned. He said, you got them already. Huh. But he said, because of the blood, it keeps them dormant. Yeah. yeah. And he said, when the blood is drained out, they go to work. Yeah. Now, he don't make no difference to me. They can cremate them, do whatever all they want to do with them. I don't really like that myself. It ain't gonna matter. God's gonna know where every one of them is. Right. They ain't gonna cremate the soul, I tell you that. That's right. They ain't gonna take my soul and put it in a casket and bury it. That's right. It's going back to God. The only thing going back to the earth is the body that I live in. That's right. That's Amen. Flesh. And we're bending them back. Already. We had flyers, some of these wildfires, they'll come up in the spring. Oh, they're so pretty. But over a period of a little time, you notice them. They start fading a little bit. You know what they start to look? Lean them right back down. And finally, they'll lay down right on the earth and on the ground. That's the way we are. Yep. We're bending. I am. I time, I, I really feel this. I feel like maybe my time may not be much longer here. But thank God that I've got a hope of seeing my people, but most of all, seeing Jesus. Yeah. And dying for me. I'm glad he did. Boy, I'm glad when I was bit by that old serpent, just in time, just in time, I was saved by the blood of the Lamb. Well, again, I'm sorry we didn't get here last night. But I've enjoyed this revival. Talk to Brother Vernon. I guess this will be probably as far as we go. But it's Bless been a blessing to us. I appreciate Brother Robbie, yeah. Brother Vernon, other people. Brother.